Welcome to today's session. This is Shweta Roy, your English Master Teacher at Vedantu. I hope all of you are doing well. And today we will be starting with a wonderful chapter, which is the Hack Driver. So, uh, from the title itself, you can understand that this is going to be a story about a Tonga driver, right? So, the Hack Driver is a Tonga driver, right? So, let us see what the story is all about and how is the story special for us and what is it going to teach us right because every story has some hidden moral in it we have to understand the moral inside the, uh, within the story right so let us have a look at this wonderful story and a very amusing story i'm sure all of you will enjoy so this story is by sinclair lewis Cynthia Lewis was an American novelist and short story writer as well as a playwright and he became the third, uh, sorry, the first writer from the United States to receive the Nobel Prize in Literature. So that is something very interesting, 1930, right? Some of his novels are Hike and the Aeroplane, jo The Job, an American novel and Free Air and others, of course. So let us see how this story is special for all of us and what kind of lesson does it give for all of us. So today we will be dealing with the first half of the story and in the next session we will be completing the story and the third session will revolve around the question answers and important topics. Okay, so now the narrator of the story explains that after completing his graduation, he started working. So he was, uh, basically he completed in honor, his honors, okay, in law and he was then uh, appointed as a uh, you know, uh, he, he started working with a famous law firm in the city, right? Now, he was working there as an assistant clerk. So, what was his position? What was his post? Assistant clerk. Now, since it was this training period, so definitely it was a training period of any job is not very easy, right? So, the training period is basically, you know, when uh, they give you a rigorous practice so that you are absolutely an expert in your profession. Right, so training is always much more difficult than when you enter into your actual work. Right, so same for this person as well. So since he was in his training period at that time, so uh, he worked as an assistant clerk. So definitely, uh, sorry, yeah, assistant clerk. Okay, so he was not happy with the job of serving summons. So what was his job? He had to serve summons. Now, why was he not happy with this job? Because whenever, now let's see, where, wherever he went for serving summons, of course, law involves criminal, right? So, definitely that locality would be filled with criminals, right? So, sometimes what he had to face was often he used to face the beatings of those criminals as well. And uh, the places uh, where he had to go was not a uh, very, you know, sophisticated place, very rough and tough and very dirty as well sometimes. So, he absolutely did not like his job that time. So question guys, question now, what job did the narrator get after graduation and he had done graduation and he had done an honours in graduation, okay, so don't forget that. So I hope you know what is an honours, so there is a, you know, simple graduate and there is a simple graduation and there is an honours graduation, honours graduation means it's uh, something extra, right. So that means it is more uh, given more value than simple graduation. So that is why. So uh, did he like his work? Please do answer me in the question in the in the chat box right now. All right. Now, guys, before uh, uh, before resuming with the story and proceeding with the story, I would like to inform you something very important. Now, even uh, if you have not taken the subscription yet, guys. So the problems that you face, the hurdles which you face in your education, like doubts, notes, tests and assignments, competitive exams, choice of schedule, choice of language, all the hurdles are going to be resolved in our platform. So doubts, you're not going to have any more doubts. Why? Because we are going to solve each and every doubt of yours in the class, right? So. Master teachers, class teachers, we have an entire devoted team catering to your doubts. Notes you are going to get after each and every session. Assignment after each and every session. Competitive exams. You can also, uh, we also provide guidance for competitive exams. And the, this all this within your stipulated choice of uh, schedule and your uh, choice of language. 
right so this does not end here guys because we have bonus features as well right so what is this bonus features we give you micro courses as well as crash courses micro courses enables you to take chapter wise courses so if you face any problem in any chapter you can avail the micro course pertaining to that particular chapter along with the crash course which uh, provides you an entire revision for your entire syllabus and that makes you exam ready and we also give you the performance report of the test that we take and that performance report helps you to assess where you stand and personalized attention definitely personalized attention you will also get which is not always possible in youtube and what you need to do is just visit the link in the description box and pin comment and choose your grade choose your board check out the details click on get subscription there are three types of subscription one month three months and six months so i would recommend you to get the six month subscription why because that is going to be cost friendly for all of you rather than taking the one month subscription because if you pay one month one month every month then what is going to happen is kya hoga what is going to happen is you end up paying more than what you pay for together when you pay for six months right so do not forget to apply the coupon code swre pro because that is going to give you the discount all right so yes this is the coupon code do not forget that and resuming with our lesson one day what happened the narrator received the task of serving summons to a person called oliver lupkins who was a key witness in some case right now he lived in a small town named new william right the narrator was very excited so when he finally visited that place he was very excited to a very to see a small and beautiful town but his excitement ended by the dull appearance of the town by the unpainted shops the dirty you know streets right but okay let us see what happens next but before that answer this question in the chat box right now why was he happy to go to new mulian why did he go there I am sure you will be able to answer this question if you were paying attention in the class, right? So let me see quickly who all are paying attention in the class. All right. So moving ahead, he saw a hack driver standing at the platform who was very cheerful and nice. So uh, just uh, as he entered the railway station, what did he see? He saw a hack driver and he was having a very pleasant appearance. Now guys we are, I am really happy to announce that Vedantu students have topped the uh, IIT JE and they have secured top ranks in IIT JE and this has been the best online results right so let us join hands to celebrate their success together and we are all celebrating our super scorers and we are getting motivated by their success and I am sure that this is going to you know i'll uh, be very motivating for you and you also are going to see yourself right here so utilize your maximum capacity utilize your maximum potential all of you are winners right so we um so uh, he went up and inquired about oliver lepkins as he was new to the town and he wanted to find him right now the driver said that oliver was a very nasty man and he owed money to most of the people and he himself you know uh, he, uh, the hack driver said that um oliver owed the hack driver as well uh, some money right so quickly tell me how did the hack driver sketch the character of lucky just in one or two lines quickly in the comment section in the in the chat box okay proceeding further he also cunningly extracted information from the lawyer that he needed lakins for some court case so he uh, now lakins uh, uh, the narrator was so very pleased with the company of the hack driver that he uh, you know he he had a very pleasing and a friendly personality the hack driver right so he was very happy enjoying himself in the journey and uh, in the process what he did was he also revealed the fact that he had come here to search for oliver lutkins because he needed him for some court case now we will be ending here okay we will be ending the session here but definitely we have something very interesting coming up right at this point we will see how the journey goes right 
the hack driver oliver lutkins and uh, the narrator what happens in the entire process right and does he find finally uh, does he become successful in the quest of finding oliver lutkins or what happens at the end right so first you give me the answer to the question this is your homework question guys so quickly give me the answer we have stopped at a very critical juncture and we will just begin from here in the next session guys so quickly let me see what all you have to say for the homework question which says the lawyer feels delighted in going to a country and enjoying going around it the whole day how does it portray the plight of his town and what values of the lawyer are reflected here so as i told you that the lawyer was very happy when he started his journey with the hack driver he was very happy very pleased when the hack driver told him uh, about you know the entire neighborhood about the entire village uh, he was very much pleased with the personality of the hack driver and enjoying his journey and it uh, it did not matter to him anymore whether he uh you know whether he would be able to find uh oliver lutkins but definitely was enjoying the journey and uh he also thought that this life is way better than his own life which is there in the town okay which is full which is away this life is filled you know it's very simple right so he was very um uh, you know he was very pleased to have this simple honest life which was a far cry from his own life which was in the you know which was in in the hub of universities law firms etc right so people were very crooked very complicated there and here what he found was a complete contrast because we all know uh, that village life is very simple people there are very honest very simple people right so now we will see whether people in the village are really simple or is there a twist so wait for the twist in the next class and do comment here on the homework question i'm waiting to see your comments guys till then take care bye bye see you very soon in the next class